Hello, it's Pastor David Charlton. This is my devotion for November the 28th. It's evening, so we will do the evening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Tonight I want to talk about one of the last parts of the liturgy, something known in Latin as the Nunc Dimenis. As we talked about the other day, the, the title of these traditional hymns are uh, given from the first few words in Latin. So the first few words of this passage from Luke chapter 2, beginning at verse 29 in Latin is Nunc Dimenis. In English, it goes this way. Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people, Israel. This hymn is traditionally done in the Lutheran Church after Holy Communion, right before the benediction. These are the words of the prophet Simeon. He was in the temple in Jerusalem when Jesus was presented there as a small baby. And when he saw Jesus, he praised God because it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. And so this hymn of joy from Simeon, from Luke chapter 2, from the Christmas story, is a hymn that we incorporated into our worship to give thanks to God for another incarnation, the true bodily presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in Holy Communion. Just as he was incarnate in the baby of Bethlehem, he also comes to us in Holy Communion, and in with and under the bread and wine, he gives us his own body and blood. In the words of Matthew, of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew, I am with you always to the end of the age. He remains God with us, and we give thanks to God that he is with us every time we gather at his table to celebrate his supper. This is a good text as we move into the season of Advent, because again we are going to be celebrating the incarnation of our Lord. To be reminded that he is incarnate among us every Sunday, and it's a wonderful gift that he promises never to take away from us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the miracle of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. He became truly human and truly divine. And he promised always to be Emmanuel, God with us. We thank you that at his table every Sunday, he comes to us again and gives us his true body and his true blood. It's not a symbol. We don't simply remember him, but he is with us. And so with Simeon, we can also sing your praises because your salvation has been revealed to us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And then a closing prayer. Lord Jesus, Stay with us, for the evening is at hand, and the day is past. 
Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And then using the words of God from the book of Numbers, God spoke to Moses and said, Tell your brother Aaron to bless the people of God in this way. And so Aaron did. We use these words also every week in our worship. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.